Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for KOK World Grand Prix semi-final fights. Fights of our tournament number eight. It will be first KOK World Grand Prix semi-final fight. Here we will see the fighters from Turkey and Moldova. Ladies and gentlemen, red corner fighter from Turkey, Ali Alkaiz. unscathed no real collateral damage so far and like i said he did fight pretty clean in that blue corner fighter from moldova konstantin tutu well here we go with the local favourite, the man who's now into the semi-final, 2-2, Constantine. Who also went three rounds, and won on unanimous against a very tough Polish fighter, and the lightest man in the tournament at only 81.85 kilograms. So he was giving away three kilograms to his opponent and probably to everybody in the tournament because they've all come in at sort of 80, 83 plus, 84 and even 85 which is the limit for this middleweight King of Kings tournament but here is the man now the local fear favourite, the local hero from here in Moldova, Konstantin Tutu is 27, there's the stats and again fought very cleanly come out of it unscathed like his Turkish opponent not marked this is going to be another war so our first of our two semi-final fights he makes his way into the ring. Constantine 2-2 two, two, two from Moldova. He, like I just said, went three two, rounds. Two, Moldova. Just like his Ladies opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. To get to World here. Grand Prix semi-final fight. The winner of this fight goes to KOK World Grand Prix final fight. One more time. Red corner from Turkey. Ali. from Moldova, Konstantin Tutu. Ring the 
Stephanie Andre Grosso, three rounds, three minutes each. Our first of the two semi-finals. This, ladies and gentlemen, between Round Moldova one. and Turkey. The red corner representing that country I just mentioned, Ali Akayas. Representing Moldova in the blue corner, the man. Everyone here has probably come to watch if they're local, and that's Konstantin Tutu. The crowd is silent. 10,000 plus people here wait with bated breath. The bell has gone. The referee is in there, the only man allowed inside those ropes other than the two modern day gladiators. So, King of Kings at middleweight, Grand Prix semi final, first of the two semi finals. Constantine's high kick goes right up the head, nearly takes the lights out, kicks really high. And a fight that I thought would be like this, but very technical because. Both fighters fought like this in the previous quarterfinals, and they fought very clean. If you look, both fighters are actually not got any marking from the first fight. Now, bear in mind, they went nine minutes, each of these two fighters, so to come out unscathed is a real good testament to both fighters. Nice push kick there from Ali. Fighters not quite finding the distance yet, both testing each other out in this first round. And again, Constantine going too high with those kicks, just needs to bring them down a little bit. Nice little punch combo there from the Turkish man. Akayis. Looks like his name. In the frame, the fear and King of Kings. Well spotted from the fighter himself. Just saying that my tape's coming undone. Time. Back on. It's a little wardrobe malfunction. So I think this is going to be a real technical affair until one of the fighters unloads. Good push kick to the face from Constantine, but just slightly out of range. And I just think what's going to happen here is going to be like this now for most of the fight until we see one of them on board with a big combo and then I think things will start to get a little more giddy as we say back home. Nice little kick there. Constantine lands it on the thigh of Ali. The Turkish guy doesn't even feel it. It's still there. This is a game of chess. Constantine going upstairs. To the top of the head of Ali, but he doesn't look phased at all. Well, two minutes and 50 seconds have gone, 10 seconds remaining, very little been thrown between these two. Well, Time. One minute. possibly saving themselves. So, three minutes gone, little thrown. Not a lot of action, but doesn't need to be. Remember, this is a tournament, Grand Prix tournament. Constantine Tutu taking a little bit of water, taking a lot of advice from the guides of this sport, the trainers. You must listen to them. There's the hiker coach talking about. The only one that actually sort of, well, let's just say a couple of valleys. Hairs on his head got um, parted slightly, but it uh, wasn't, wasn't making contact. So yeah, a very easy, that's the right word, first round for both fighters in the way that they had just took at the time, looking to pick the shots. Nothing landed of anything clean, but early doors. So, the second round, six minutes remaining of this semi-final between Konstantin Tutu from here in Moldova versus the guy, the very able Ali Akayas from Turkey in the red corner. The left body kick goes in from Konstantin. Are they going to step it up this second round? They look certainly intent. 
visibly, physically, looking at the posturing and gesturing to throw some bit more leather than they did in the first round. Again, I will say this. Remember, they've already done nine minutes each from the previous encounters. Going downstairs, catching the groin. There's been a lot of that tonight. And again, none of it has been intentional, I've got to say, and in fairness to the fighters. Look at that, Constantine bows to Ali, says, I'm sorry. Didn't mean it. Touch of gloves. Time back on. And again, quietness bestows this stadium. Ten plus thousand spectators, and you can hear a pin drop. Why? You know why. Anyway, actions speak louder than words. I think the faster the goal, the louder the crowd goes. They pick up, the crowd picks up. So it works. Fighters looking again that high kick on the trademarks of Constantine. Rings above Ali's head. Just needs to bring it down slightly. Nice left up. Constantine nods. Constantine gets his guard right up. And again, that high kick whistles away from contact point of Ali. Another Turkish fighter who's in this eight man World Grand Prix King of Kings championship fight. Semi-final here in the beautiful Manaj Sports Arena in the capital of Moldova, Kishinev. Middleweight, and in the middleweight terms, obviously different weight categories in different sports, but the middleweight in this is 85 kilograms. Ooh, this is what a kick goes with a spinning back, but it's nice technique, but again, wind whistles, no contact being made. Kayas. Nice low kick as Constantine was attempting the spinning back fist. Nice technique. Nice backhand switch guard there from Ali. Slip movement there, just getting out of the corner. And again, nothing much happening in this second round. So whether they're saving it for the third, and they're just trying to fight clean so they don't take any damage, one of these guys will go into the final. Ten seconds, the hammer falls. Before the bell. Well, again, another round of not much. The first round, 10-10 all day long on my unofficial scorecard. Second round. Mm. Not sure. Again, I would pos possibly say a 10 10. Maybe, and only maybe, Blue Corner might have just nicked a half a point if there's such a thing in this scoring system. But it's going to be down, definitely down to this third round, in my opinion. But what my opinion is worth. Remember, it's all about the judges and the referee and what the fighters will give us in this third round. Fighters. We've had some really exciting fights tonight, so maybe you could pardon these two for this fight not looking super entertaining because you've seen some real masterclasses tonight. And again, you've got to give these guys credit. They've already done nine minutes in the first fight. They've now done another six. 15 minutes of fighting. Oh, there's something going on. What's happened? Well, it looks like the fighter is retiring on the snow, and I don't know why. Well, he's sustained some type of injury, and that must that can that is weird because there was no real strike that we saw. There was no real um, conflicting. Ladies and movements gentlemen, in that last round, but obviously something we don't know about. Injury, the winner is, and to KOK World Grand Prix, final five goals, 
Blue corner, Konstantin Tutu, Moldova. Well, Ali Alkayas from Turkey retires on the stool after two rounds with some type of injury, which we'll probably find out a bit later. Constantine, as he walks behind me now, happy now that he's only done two rounds. And he took his time in those two as well, but he, that's fighting intelligently. Now, I don't know, it looks, it looks like an ankle injury. Just I'm looking at his body language, Ali, as he gets out the ring. He just tentatively, tentatively stepped under the ropes there. So whether he's kicked an elbow or something, or a knee, that's what I'm thinking, because I can't see any vis uh, visible signs of injury anywhere on his upper body or on his face. So I'm guessing... It could be a leg injury. I might be wrong. Like I say, tentatively just walks down those steps. So whether he has injured his leg. But, well, Ali gets a, a cheer from the crowd and he does. He looks like he's limping a little bit. So he must have sustained a leg injury.